motorsport park. The weather's looking good, the sun's breaking out, the track has dried, so hopefully we'll ramp it up. We're seeing more and more cars out there, more and more different cars, it's, it's looking good for the category. And it's good fun being on track too, because every car's got their strengths in different areas, so it makes for uh, an interesting time out there. We had a first practice then, there's a lot of cars, it was really hard to try and find actually like a clean lap. Um, once we got one, it was really good though, it was able to do some good times, but also if it wasn't a clean lap, trying to let the faster cars overtake you in a spot that doesn't really hinder your time. I'd like to say that this is not what I do at work, so uh, when I get the chance to just chill out, you got to make the most of it. Even five minutes before going 290 k's an hour, you kind of just want to chill out and uh, enjoy it while you can. The sun's come out, we were all expecting rain and clouds and you know, it's nice to see a bit of sun. But it's really nice to be running two cars and having a team, you know, and putting the team together, having the same feel, helping each other, you know, working together. We've got about three sessions before 1pm, so we've had two, two practices, one in the wet-ish, one in the dry, and we've got qualifying in, which is hopefully going to be in the dry. So it's a pretty busy morning. Well, we're going out for qualifying in just a few minutes and we're going to put Matt, Matt in the car, so uh, Hopefully you can put out a good time and then um, about halfway through I'll jump in and see what I can do. And with 30 cars on the grid it's going to be quite hectic. major upgrade since Townsville. We've got the uh, 2013 Aero kit and today was obviously the first time we've run it so probably not the best balance for qualifying. It was a little bit uh, sketchy in the rear and uh, made it for some uh, exciting driving but look obviously the guys will do a great job sorting it out for tomorrow's race and I think we'll have a very competitive race car. We've got a good you know good setup for the race now. We tune the car for the for the race and I learned things from AMG Mercedes back in Spa. I worked with the engineer so I've learned how to you know, tune the car up to, for qualifying and you know, it's worked out well and looking forward to the race tomorrow. Uh, not good enough today. Not good enough. You did a great job. You've got to deal with a lot of different circumstances out there, not just not just how fast you're going, but, the, but how fast others are going. Well, that was our main goal, is to be the quickest uh, the quickest car in the challenge class. It is a hell of a lot of fun. We didn't know how the 458 challenge was going to go against all the other GT cars. And this car is probably one of the fastest cars down the front straight here, but uh, we don't have the aerodynamics that a lot of the other cars do, so it's a balance of kind of figuring out where our strengths are, where the other cars' weaknesses are, and seeing where we can really try and attack come race time. What are you doing? Not with the glasses, you can't have that. I'm looking at an old man. Go away! Then just, just play it over and over and over again. One burgundy, 1006. We were a little bit too relaxed around the grass yesterday. To qualify and didn't quite go to plan. We had a little lap at the end of the session, but they ended up going on the grass, so that's just another driver's excuse. Some of, I haven't used it for a while, so I thought, I thought I would. I am definitely not yielding. I will be under him at turn two, no, under brakes. Two? Yeah. yeah. No way. Yeah. Like, no way. I'll be in front of the Mercedes by then, so what are you going to do? Well, we'll both be in front of the Mercedes then. <laughs> I've never got the transfer that I wanted. Yeah, looking forward to the race indeed. Uh, it's quite good. The Lotus is just quicker than us here, which is the fast straights. It just pulls away down the hill. But there's 26 cars. We've got an hour of racing, so bring it on. For the first time, I think this uh, this season, we're starting P2, which is fantastic, beating all the uh, 11 cars and a couple of champ cars as well. So we're looking forward to this race quite a lot. It happen. But um, to be fair, the car was pretty good and I was catching Clark and the Ferraris 
in the first run. And then at the safety car thing, we'd have been out with quite a lead. It was pretty unexpected. I knew that there was some hot pace behind me. I didn't really think I'd get be able to keep them off, but somehow it happened, and it was a great result. You know, Dad's won and up to. This is a great result for the team. The car was fantastic, so we just had to had to be a bit um, a bit careful through traffic, just to make sure we um, we got a clear run. And then until the Lamborghini was fantastic, we were able to just keep pressing on. On the second last lap, we got a really good run out of the last corner. When I came across the back of Clark's car, I lost lost the front arrow, and the thing just jumped off the track. So anyway, lesson learned. The second safety car came out. I had some of the other cars that uh, in the same class in front of me, but I managed to get past them. So it was really really busy. But then I had all the championship cars behind me and uh, well I gave them a run for the money it, it, it wasn't an easy overtake that was a hard race really hard race but the safety car really gave everyone a rest the timing of the safety car worked well for us so that helped us jump up a little bit and then uh, we were able to keep everyone behind it so it was a good race fourth that's our best this season I mean really we're very happy with that so I don't think we can really do any better first in class you know tomorrow we just got to keep it straight and keep doing the same thing and we'll, we'll uh, take the trophy home so we're really excited Uh, we were up to fifth, I think, outright at one stage, which is, you know, like nearly like wonderful for me. And then we got hit a few times and uh, we broke the drive shaft, so, uh, you know, DNF, I think the last one or two laps to go. So. I'm quite used to starting from rear of the grid, so yeah, I enjoy chasing cars. That's it. Even the racing, it's, um, it's really good. All the other guys are really good to race against. They're nice and clean. Yeah, it's a really, really good category. When you're racing and driving and talking to sponsors and yeah, I'll tell you what you just lost your you just lost your bath is dry <laughs> things go wrong in racing and yesterday went wrong for us but we were fortunate really to finish in 10th place we've had five podiums in a row with the Ferrari Peter and I so you know I don't think we're gonna have a podium today but you know if we enjoy ourselves and hopefully we can get a better result than 10th which is where we are at the moment yeah. a lot and um, they just plugged away and catching the lead pack there's about uh, the five cars at the front which was good racing for about five, uh, 10, or, 10 or 15 laps we just all in a bunch so it was really tight. That wasn't me man. that was the secret genie I've got in my pocket. <laughs> that was good, very good. Car was fine, a bit of strategy today just you know asking Brett you know where does that put me. At the start the car was really good and you know it's, it's just getting out of those corners that are, is a secret I think. Mm. And breaking. How, how stupid is that? Getting out of the corners and breaking. That's the secret to racing. <laughs> 
Oh, we're trying new all-terrain tyres, which were very slippery in the mud, as you saw. Took me about 14 back and fills. Lucky I know how to do that, to finally get the car back on the track. I was so excited that I'd actually caught the Pirelli Ferrari. <laughs> I don't know what the um, lack of talent. <laughs> Tried to uh, get a bit of an advantage and try to get as much of a gap straight away um, out of the pit and just tried to maintain it. And I brought it home and, uh, and was really happy that um, nothing major happened. I just became first in class, so uh, very happy. From a bad position at 18, he got through to 11th, gave me the car at 11th, and uh, we were in front of our second, so we were, we were home and home. Just, yeah. We didn't fall off the track, as long as you don't fall off the exactly track. Exactly right, yeah, you've got to be in it to win it. And it, was hard, it was hard work, actually, Matty at the start bolted. In the, in the Porsche, and then chasing him through the other cars, which is uh, who could use the least front tyres to make it to the end of the race, really. So we had a good chat in the pit lane afterwards, and um, yeah, he gave us some room, and it was a good race.